my beautiful people welcome or welcome back to my channel boss up budgets on this channel i do cash stuffing budgeting saving up challenges and all things money related i did just upload a video a couple days ago so hopefully you guys did enjoy that so in this video today we're gonna be stuffing paycheck number three of july and y'all i just went to go do my nails and what do you guys think Honestly, my opinion of these nails, I think they're a little bit too short. Usually my nails come down to like about here. Let me show you guys what I got inspiration from. Yeah, so I absolutely love that they got the Chanel jewel really good, but like she literally was rushing so bad. Like, I don't know if you guys can tell, but like that is not like a smiley, you know? Like it's actually done pretty poorly. I'm usually not very picky with my nails, honestly. So, you know, whatever. But I think for the amount I was paying it, I paid about 110 for these nails. I don't think in my opinion, these were worth it at all. So anyways, that's a little bit about my nails. Um, I do have some jewelry on me right now. So I don't know if I mentioned this in my last video, but my friend actually got me this. So it's the evil eye bracelet. I think it's super cute. The dangly part, definitely love them. It also has some detailing at the bottom of the chain. This is my Cartier bracelet. It's the screwdriver, so I love that. I think it also goes well with my rings. And then I got this ring. I forgot which brand it is. Um, oh, I think it's Galaxia. I'll leave the link down below for any of you guys that are interested. And also, this is kind of like a sneak peek, but I'm going to be opening a small business and this Cartier bracelet dupe is going to be on there. So just a sneak peek, you guys. But anyways, enough chatting about me. I'll get more into like the nitty gritty and the tea about my entire week for you guys later on in the video. But yeah, so let's just start with the money count. So today I'm going to be stuffing $1,065. These Benjamins are so crisp and new. Love that. One, two, three, four, five, six hundred. 20, 40, 60, 80, 7, 20, 40, 60, 80, 8, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1,000, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 30, 5, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, and 65. Alright you guys, that was $1,065. I don't know if you guys noticed, but my weekly allowance binder has changed. So I was talking to you guys a little bit last time and I said I definitely do want a new binder. So I went ahead and got myself one. Um, this one was pretty pricey. I think it's my most expensive binder. This, I believe, was 20 something to 30 something dollars. It definitely gives me the modem, I think that's how you pronounce it, vibes. It's a crocodile on the outside, but I definitely went for this style because if you know me by now, I love saving money. This is about like, I would say 35, 40% cheaper than the modem. I mean, the hardware and like whatever is inside matches the modem. So I was like, girl, I'm just gonna get this because who knows, in two months I might want a new binder. Yeah, so the outside is a crocodile. There's two places for you to button it. The clamp is very strong. I love the back too. It's very soft. Definitely durable. So once you open it, you do have a coin slot which has a flap that covers the zipper which I think is cute. I haven't put any coins in here but the hardware is silver. These envelopes did not come with the binder. I actually brought the envelopes from my last binder over here. You can literally get these for like $9 on Amazon if you need them. In the middle, I do have a card flap. So this is a card holder. It just has two of my most used cards. So it's my credit card and my debit card. Then I also have my license here and then some more envelopes I wanted to put these envelopes in the back because I don't really reach for them that often So I wanted to separate it but later on once I start getting paid at my side hustle I'm actually gonna put things that I use besides my side hustle over here and then my side hustle over here Like for example, I might put like a tip envelope or like a drip envelope Yeah, I'm just gonna separate both of them So I kind of know and then at the end there is also a couple more slides 
slots for you to put your cards in. It has a few slots down here so you can put bills in or your bigger cards maybe and then it also has it's literally like a wallet which I guess I have $10 in here. I've been using this for about a few days and I actually really like it. Um, it fits perfectly into my purses and my bags, which I love. And yeah, I have no complaints right now about this bag. I think so far it's very um, useful. I also like how it's very discreet. No one can really tell what this is. If anything, they might think that you're bringing a notebook, which I'm totally fine with because I feel more safe that way than having like my bills being shown with the previous binder. Let's get right into seeing what we have for leftovers. So the first one is the grocery envelope and I do see that I have a little bit of leftover. I only have a dollar here and dining out I have a little bit more. I have $20. Y'all we haven't had leftover in quite a while so really happy that I did have some leftovers. Let me put this aside real quick. And this is what we're gonna do with our leftover money. We're gonna be putting it into our ATM bank. Let me just go grab the ATM card real quick. All right, here's the ATM card. All right, there you have it, you guys. That was my first leftover deposit. Let's go back to our beautiful crocodile binder and start our stuffing. All right, so groceries, we're gonna be stuffing $70 this week. And I don't know what I'm gonna meal prep this week. I always just end up going back to pasta because I feel like pasta is like the easiest thing to make and it literally doesn't take that much time. Yeah, I mostly cook Asian cuisine. I don't really like American food all that much. Like I don't really like burgers and you know, breakfast like toast and scrambled eggs. Like that's, that's really not my style. I love like savory Asian food. Like that's literally things that I eat so much of and Mexican food. Like I love salsa and all that, that good stuff. So yeah, anyways, um, dining out is gonna be getting $40 this week. So I don't really have anything I'm planning. I don't have a date with anyone. So this is honestly just in case I'm craving any like fast food that I have enough money to go eat that. Gas is gonna be getting $30. So usually I put $25 in gas, but I'm just gonna up it by $5 because I have been running like very low recently. Yeah, I'm gonna just try $30 and if I need more then I'll up it next week. Now moving on to personal, it's gonna be getting its usual $5. So I've decided that I am going to start removing any money that I don't spend in my personal envelope at the end of every week. So if I have $5 extra that I didn't need to spend, then I'm going to actually not put it in my ATM, but put it into my fun activities envelope so that I have extra money in case I ever go out and stuff like that. Laundry is also going to be getting $5. So I just did my laundry. Thank God, you guys. That's probably my least favorite chore is to do laundry because I have to walk down three flights of stairs and across the apartment complex to literally wash my clothes and then I have to bring it back up in three flights of stairs. So it's just like, I hate laundry, you guys. Like I'm looking forward to the time when I'm gonna have my own house and then I can literally walk across the house just to do my laundry. Like that's my goal in life, honestly. All right, Niel is gonna be getting $5. Now it has $10. I'm running low on some soap, so I might get it next week or the week after. So I'm gonna save up a little bit for that. That is it for our weekly allowance. And yeah, so it's not really that big. I still like the shape of it after money has been in there and it's seriously a very cute binder. You know what, let's go backwards this week. So usually we go from left to right, but Let's just go backwards this week. Let's just get a little crazy, you guys. We like to change things up to keep ourselves excited. First one is Bentley Essentials, and he's going to be getting $5. I have 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 41, 42, and $43. Perfect. 
I think I'm gonna be getting some dog food for him. So yeah, we definitely are stocked up enough to get some dog food. Car Essentials is also gonna be getting $5. So now it has $10. I don't really spend that much on my car, you guys. Like my car is pretty spanking new, but I love saving money. So unless I absolutely need something for my car, I tend not to spend much money on my car at all. Fun is gonna be getting $5. So, Fun now has 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 200, 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21. So, it currently has $221 right now. And I'm seriously trying to save up as much as possible because I know I spend a lot. So, especially during the summer, I need this envelope to be really fat and thick, you guys. Gifts is going to be getting $10, and my brother's birthday is actually in four weeks from now. Per usual, I think I'm going to actually get, I'm talking so loud, but I think I'm going to get him some cologne. He loves Versace cologne. I'll leave a photo for you guys to see what I'm talking about, but he absolutely loves this cologne, so I'm going to get it for him. Health Essentials is also going to be getting $5. So now it only has $10. House supplies is also going to be getting $5. So now it has 10, 15, 20, 21. And I haven't really gotten anything for the house, so that's why I'm not really stuffing that much. Self care is going to be getting $10. So it now has 10, 20, 25, 30, 31, and $32. Trying really hard to save up to get some skincare, you guys. We're gonna be skipping splurge. And we're gonna be stuffing our tech envelope with $100. So I re-evaluated how much I need for this envelope. I won't be needing $800. I think I'm gonna aim for $700 because I'm gonna get the Canon G7X Mark II, not the Mark III anymore. I think Mark II, I was watching a couple videos and they had evaluated that the Mark II has better autofocus and luckily the choice that I want is the cheaper choice. So I think the Mark II is only like retailing about $600 right now. So I'm gonna give myself $700 because obviously tax and then I'm also looking at like a tripod and also a camera like a camera case and yeah so maybe I'll do a camera reveal for you guys and like show you guys my equipment so right now in the envelope it has one two three three hundred twenty forty sixty eighty four twenty forty sixty eighty five hundred I literally just made this envelope like not even a month ago and we're already at five hundred so I'm so grateful for that and our last one is the travel envelope, which I'm going to be stuffing $10 in it. And yeah, likewise, I can't believe I already have a lot of money in this envelope when I barely made this envelope maybe a month ago. So now travel has 20, 40, 60, 81, 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and $25. I can't wait to do another condensing video and just making this binder a little bit thinner as well. Alright you guys, so that's it for this white binder. Moving on to our emergency fund and savings binder. So the first one we're going to be stuffing is Bentley and he's going to be getting $10. So Bentley is my Norfolk Terrier and so now he has 1, 200, 20, 40, 50, 60. I also need to give him a haircut, you guys. And I do everything at home. I'm very much a DIY girl. So if there's anything that I can possibly do, even if I don't know how to do it, I will learn to do it. So I've been cutting my dog's hair for eight years now. So I do the whole works. I give him like a little spa day. He gets shampooed, conditioned, his nails trimmed and buff, his teeth clean. He gets a really cute haircut. So I do all that at home. And I think that state he's at the most comfortable so he's turning eight in august i already am planning how i'm gonna spend his birthday with him so yeah car won't be getting anything moving on to health it's gonna be getting ten dollars 
Health now has 20, 40, 60, 70, 75, 76, 77, and 78. Life insurance is getting $40. You know what, you guys? Let me flip this over. Going back, life insurance is going to be getting $40. And it now has 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 20, 4, 40, 4, 60, 4, 85, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So we're halfway through the year and we have 500. We need to get to 1700, you guys. So very soon we're going to be upping the amount we're paying into this. Per usual, mean emergency is going to be getting $50. It now has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 20, 40, 50. So it has 550. And I don't know where I put my markers, you guys. I think I was using it for work and I left it somewhere. So I'll be coloring this in um, whenever I find it. So we'll just get that part. Going into rainy day, it's going to be getting $20. So it now has 1, 2, 20, 40, 60. So 260 in here. The bank savings account is going to be getting $25. Right now, this envelope has 20, 40, 60, 65, 70, and 75. In my account, there is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 700. There we are. And at the end of the month, I'm going to be depositing 100 into the savings account. So next time you guys see this envelope, it's going to have about $800 in my account. House won't be getting anything. Invest is also going to be getting $25. These bills are so dirty. So this envelope now has 20, 40, 60, 70, 75, and my investing account has 1,100 and 200. My investing account just automatically takes $100 from my account to put it inside. And for our last binder, you guys, it's going to be our super cute pink binder. All right, you guys, the first one we're going to be stuffing is our car insurance, and it's going to be getting $35. This envelope now has 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 105 dollars. So we're three-fourth way there, you guys. I am one month ahead, so everything in this envelope I will be paying for the month of August. Car note will be getting $90. So it now has 50, 1, 50, 70, 90, 210, 230, 250, and 270. Jim will be getting ten dollars. It now has ten, twenty, and thirty dollars. Ortho will be getting sixty dollars. And you guys, like I have something in the back of my mind and I'm really nervous about it. In two days, I'm actually going to be getting my teeth pulled because I do have crowding and the orthodontist did let me know that before I started my procedure that they will need to remove some teeth so that they can create spacing in my mouth. So I'm going to be removing two teeth on top and two on the bottom and I'm very, very, very nervous because one, I've never had a single surgery in my life. I don't know how my body's going to react. The other thing is like I'm gonna be having four gaps in my mouth you guys and it's not like it's in the back where it's gonna be hidden it's literally gonna be at the front so my self-esteem is gonna go way down you guys I'm already self-conscious about my teeth and with this it's like even worse you know like I'm constantly thinking about getting my teeth pulled because I almost want to back out you guys yeah I don't know I'm just gonna pray that everything goes fine and that my self-esteem doesn't get too much damage I know that it's gonna take about six 
to nine months to close a gap and I think just hearing that like hearing how long it's gonna be until I may look normal again like it's just insane to me anyways that's a little bit about my anxiety right now um so ortho envelope now has 50 1 20 40 60 82 20 and 30 so it has 230 dollars Phone service is going to be getting $50. So it now has $51.50. Subscription is going to be getting $25. It now has $20, $40, $60, $70, $75. Car registration is going to be getting five dollars. One twenty, forty, sixty, seventy, and seventy-five. Car renewal is also going to be getting five dollars. Twenty, forty, sixty, seventy, seventy-five, eighty, and eighty-five. Am I moving fast, you guys? <laughs> I feel like I'm going pretty fast right now. School loan won't be getting anything. And debt, come on. Debt is going to be getting our biggest chunk. 200. I don't know why I have a little bit extra money. So I'm going to figure that out, you guys. But I'm just going to not even stop and try to figure it out right now. But so our debt envelope is going to be getting... Put this backwards. It's gonna be getting one, two, fifty, two, sixty, you guys. So this is the only envelope I'm gonna be dumping out at the end of every week because I pay my credit card as soon as I have the money available to me. This is why. So we do have the summer challenge this week. Our summer challenge is gonna be getting $10. There you have it. So we'll be counting this in the middle of August. And we have $25 left. So where was this $25? Oh, I remember. Okay, guys. So there was an envelope in here, but I didn't get a chance to put it in. And that envelope is a coffee envelope. I noticed that I was spending a lot of money on coffee and I kept taking it out of my groceries. So then like, you know, it wasn't enough for groceries. I decided I'm gonna make another envelope for coffee, but I haven't made it. So let's just do this for now. We are gonna take the $25 and just put it into our wallet. That way I know that this money is for coffee. So there you have it, you guys. That is it for this week's cash stuff. I hope you guys really enjoyed that. Thank you guys all so much again for watching my video and for joining into the challenge. Remember, I will be doing a giveaway for a thousand subscribers as well. So please stay tuned for that if you guys didn't win. And yeah, so I'll catch you guys next week. Ta-ta for now.